my top five foods for massing this winter. Winter is among us and we have food sources to choose. Some might say, whatever, let's go big, eat as many calories as you can, doesn't matter where they come from. But I will tell you, you will get a point when you are eating enough food, we're gonna reach some bottlenecks with your massing to where appetite starts to go down. What do you do? How do you keep getting the calories in without getting just appetite completely smashed to zero? So these are my five food choices and what I do with them to help you keep getting high food amounts and volumes in. Number one is ground or minced chicken. Now my pack isn't ground or minced, but the point being is that we start transitioning to foods that are already mechanically broken down. So for one, they spend less time in the oral cavity. There's actually nerdy research on this stuff that when food spends less time in your oral cavity, it actually decreases queuing that increase hunger. So we can have food that we can easily digest. Another benefit is when you're eating a big trough of food, it gets really tiresome on your jaw to keep eating that much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't been deep enough in the off season yet. So it just makes it for one, just easier to get your meals down. It also can prevent you from losing some of your hunger cues while you're eating your meats. Um, so I'll typically go with ground chicken or ground turkey. Won't do a lot of ground beef. A lot of that's out of preference, but if I had to pick my top five, um, I, it'd be one meat that I eat more frequently. So I do more meals of ground chicken or ground turkey. Now about fats, that comes to my next number two food would be plant-based oils. Now I have extra virgin olive oil here, but one benefit to moving to oil-based uh, products instead of using like nuts or avocado, for one is the chewing aspect, uh, also volume. So for 10, 15 grams of fat, it's just a very small amount of a teaspoon or two teaspoons, can easily drizzle out on a meal, basically goes unnoticed comparatively to some of your other fat sources that have larger volumes. And what we've seen in research too is that when the stomach is stretched, you actually have stretch receptors in the stomach. And this is recognized when you're eating your meals and causes fullness signaling to occur. So when you have lower volumes of food, it can allow you to eat more of them. So this is when we can switch to our oils. This is basically the cheat code for getting in high calorie amounts. You can do olive oil, you can do avocado oil, or walnut oil or macnut oil. Use some variety in what you're doing. So easy way to do it. Third one to go is going to be what we use for carbohydrate base. And typical bodybuilder, we're going to use white rice. Um, I know I've used chicken and white rice, and we're going to get in spinach, which that sounds like such a stereotypical bodybuilder meat. But hey, this is why people have done it for years and years and years because it also works. But with white rice, another nerdy study looked at 38 foods that are common, commonly eaten and ranked them in satiety index. And guess what? White rice was on the low, low side. You know what was on the high side? Potatoes. So don't try massing on potatoes because they do increase fullness pretty quickly. So white rice is a great source to use when you need to get in larger volumes and not have a lot of satiety occur. And you can use varieties of white rice, cream of rice, rice noodles, rice cereal, all different ways you can consume it to have some type of texture variety so you don't feel as monotonous of what you're doing. Um, then from there, there's things that I can't go without in off season. One being vegetables. So number four is gonna be cooked spinach. And a lot of guys in the off season, vegetables kind of go out the window. It's just volume that doesn't contribute a lot to calories. However, we do need to stay healthy within our off season phase. So we can keep staying in our off season phase, have good digestion occur in it as well. So I like spinach because it is a low volume food. 100 grams of spinach cooked is such a small amount. You can mix it into your meals pretty easily. It can go fairly unnoticed. Number five will be my last point for us to do and it will be blueberries. So with blueberries, um, it is a nutrient packed uh, fruit. Also, you won't have a lot of volume within it too. For some of our more voluminous fruits like oranges or apples, you have to eat a lot of it and the volume can be very filling. Blueberries are a little different, but one thing I like about blueberries is it it's, uh, has a lot of anti-inflammatory nutrients in it, uh, antioxidants as well. So when we are in these mass phases and driving, a lot of systemic 
stress to the body. It's just another one that can keep, keep us healthy. And you don't have to use blueberries. You could use another dense fruit like bananas or something like that. So these are my top five foods for massing. Love to hear what y'all hear what are. Leave them in the comments below. And best of luck in this winter bulk season.